Well, I am walking on my access trail to a hunting blind I have here. And I have some brush piled up by the blind. But I also have a whole bunch of stuff to use, resources, left over from the thinning of the plantation pine here. And what I'm gonna do is firm up the screen so when deer are in that field, I can exit this back door and get out of the blind without having to scare the deer away. So I'm out in a blind location that I have and we had some logging done last year and I used some of these slashings that were left behind to make a barrier but also to hide my movement as I'm leaving the blind. So the way this is set up, the back door is right here and uh, I've got cloth windows and with the cloth windows they're black and I can pull those closed. So I can pull my cloth windows closed to black out the blind, swing open the back door and walk out using this cover and the blind as well. My food plot's on the other side and there's a water hole and some apple trees and such. And I can access back out of here. As long as I have a safe wind and I'm quiet, I can do it without having to bump the deer um, off the food plot. And I really don't like to have to bump deer off a food plot. So this is uh, an alternative. And you know, I do have some spruce planted here and I got some hazelnut growing and such. But this is, you know, I mean, it took me several hours uh, to pile this up, but it's an instant screen. So I'm happy with it, and uh, we'll take a look at it from the other side. So I'm sitting in the blind, and again, I have black fabric, um, and I need to replace this black fabric, but I'm able to open and close the windows here with that. Like I said, these are in rough shape right now. And I'm wearing orange in here right now so you can see me, but normally I'd be wearing black and I'd have the back door closed. I left that open so you get a little light so you have a chance to see me. But the idea again is if, if there's some deer in the food plot and I don't want to harvest it and I want to leave, I can close these windows silently with the black fabric, get them all closed, and then I can swing open my back door so no light is going through the blind and then I can walk out. And so I'm going to walk out. I'm not going to close these like I normally would. And then I'm just going to exit and we'll see, you know, if you can pick me up at all as I'm leaving. But that's the plan and I've done it before and uh, I've just improved it so it should work even better now. The only other issue would be if you're making noise as you're leaving and having a good wind direction. But again, if you're not having the right wind direction, probably shouldn't be hunting this spot anyway. And so, uh, it's off season. We got this set up. I got some window repair to do. I got a little bit more maintenance to do on this blind. It's getting old, but uh, you know, I think I'm probably gonna go with some steel siding on it and uh, that'll solve the issue of the plywood getting wet and such but anyway just the low impact way to get in and get out and you know I can have these windows already closed and I've done this before where I've got to this blind and the deer are already in the food plot and so by having the windows closed and using the cover to get in then I can get in get everything set up and I can peek out and you know I can quietly slide those windows and I, my hunt begins, so I don't have to, I mean, I prefer to beat the deer into the food plot, but sometimes that's a challenge. But in this situation, the deer can already be in the food plot and I don't have to bump them. And uh, when I go to leave, the deer still can be in the food plot and I don't have to bump them. So the deer are gonna feel safer and they're gonna use this food plot a whole lot more than when you have to, you know, scare the deer away every time you hunt a situation like that. And that allows you to get a lot more hunts um, out of the same location and keeping the deer unaware.